All right, gents, I'm going to ask nicely, please, please stop wearing square toed shoes. Seriously, gents, for almost a decade, I've been trying to steer guys away from the square toed look. Disgusting! And I get it that some of you guys have incredibly wide feet and that you think that square toed shoes have a wider toe box. However, that's not always true when you compare them side by side. Seriously, just look around. You can find some great looking rounded toe shoes that are simply made wider. Now, what about chisel toed shoes? Are they the same thing as square toed? The answer is no. Square toed shoes at the tip are about two inches wide. Unfortunately, because the shoes are only 12 inches long, that two inch by 12 inch makes the shoes look very square. Yeah, just look really bad on your feet. Chisel toe shoes, on the other hand, have half the width at one inches at the top, which gives them on average a one to 12 ratio, which looks much better on the foot. And as a reminder, I'm only talking about shoes today different rules when it comes to the toe shape apply to boots. In today's video, gents, we're talking about the footwear every man needs to stop wearing and what shoes you should wear instead. Now, gents, if you've ever seen somebody wear Crocs in public and thought, yeah, they probably don't watch Armourist, do me a favor, smash that like button. Gents, by smashing that like button, you let the algorithm know that these videos matter and there's the off chance that that guy that was wearing Crocs, he may eventually discover this video on YouTube. But seriously, gents, I got nothing against Crocs. Whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm going to go walking outside to water the guard, feed the chickens. Yeah, I'll wear Crocs. Same with running shoes. I'm an avid runner. I ran cross country and track throughout high school and college. And I think when you're out exercising, you're out training, yeah, wear go fasters. Gents, the only issue I have is when you overwear shoes like this, when you wear them outside of their intended purpose. Now, I get it. You want something simple, something easy, something you can slip on your feet when you've got your shorts and t-shirt on and you need to grab milk first thing in the morning. So, instead of Crocs, consider wearing a pair of moccasins like this. I mean, look at this pair of moccasins right here in this brandy light brown. Beautiful. And if you already wear brown shoes, this is going to match anything in your wardrobe. You're a black shoe kind of guy? Check out these black moccasins. Simple, clean, easy to match. That being said, if you're feeling a little daring, check out these ocean blue. I just absolutely love this color. And what's great about this, they're very casual shoes, but you wear these, you're going to get compliments. Now, moccasins have a long storied history, but one of the things we see consistent around this type of shoe is the use of suede. And that's what I love right here. Check out this light brown right here. What I love about this, again, it's going to go with so many different outfits in your wardrobe and it's got a much more casual, a little bit more sophisticated of a feel. And again, if you're a black shoe kind of guy, check out gray. What I love about gray is it's not only going to work with anything that black shoes will work with, it's just more casual, but it's also going to work with, hey, if you wear brown shoes, most of the outfits you would pair with brown shoes will work with gray suede. And again, if you like blue, check out this pair of moccasins in denim. Absolutely beautiful. And for me personally, I have moccasins in olive and navy and love them. Now, if you want something a bit more casual and please don't wear the running shoes, instead grab a pair of sneakers. Now, this pair right here brought to you by today's sponsor, Ace Marks, is absolutely beautiful because of this gray upper. Why do I love gray? Again, it's a non-color. It's going to work with pretty much anything in your wardrobe. Seriously, shorts and a t-shirt, boom, this will work. Jeans and a casual button down, this is going to fit the bill. Chinos and a long sleeve Henley, sounds like a perfect combination. Dress sneakers in a suit, well, if you're a rock star, you could pull it off. And you want more color options besides gray? Check this out. High tops in blue, high tops in brown. Check out these in cognac. Look at these beautiful sneakers right here in bourbon. Classic all whites, classic blacks with a white outsole. Check out this blue suede in brown. This beautiful dark blue with a gray antique, I absolutely love these. And if the white sole is too much, check out these sneakers that are all black or these browns with a gum sole. Now, gents, I've been talking about Ace Marks for years because I love what these guys are doing, bringing you high quality Italian made shoes at a fraction of the price if you were to go out there and look at all these other designer brands. How do they do that? Direct to the consumer. They skip the middle man. Guys, look at all the different styles, all the different options, amazing looking shoes, again, at an affordable price. And with the unique construction that we have in there with the Blake stitch and the way that they build their soles, these shoes right here do not require a break in period. Basically, when you put them on, they're going to feel great. You can wear these all day. And gents, if you think they make comfortable dress shoes, wait till you get a load of their sneakers. And whether you grab their low tops or whether you grab their high tops, what you're going to notice is the quality build, the way that they've spent time on the design of the upper from the stitching to the construction. So right here, 100% full grain leather. And I go and I look on the inside of this, it just feels really nice. And they've got this extra, a lot of companies don't put a layer of leather on the inside of the shoe. The issue there is if you sweat, it's going to go right through. They've actually done a really good job. You've got this thin layer, it's going to make it more comfortable, it provides a bit of cushion, and it's going to protect the shoe. 
For those of you just looking at a classic pair of dress sneakers in white, you may be saying, okay, what's the difference between this and all the other options out there? Again, it's going to be that inside, that pillow, basically padding right here that we've got here. Very nice. But also, these guys do not glue the sole to the upper. They've actually gone through and stitched the combination of the sole and the upper to make a much more durable shoe. And just like their dress shoes, all of their sneakers are handmade over in Italy. And of course, they've got free shipping, free returns. And if you need to exchange for a different size, a different style, they make that hassle free. And of course, to get the best deal on the web, gents, use that link in the description of today's video to go over to Ace Marks and see the deals they have going on right now. If you're looking for a new pair of sneakers, if you're looking for a pair of dress shoes, loafers, go check out Ace Marks, really one of the best deals on the web. Now, this next one's getting a little bit nitpicky and for you traditionalists, you're going to play disagree, but I'm going to say stop wearing monk strap shoes and instead wear double monk strap shoes. Okay, what's the difference? For me, it's about proportion, it's about comfort. So, proportion. Right here, the buckles, they're just smaller. They don't grab as much attention. And honestly, if you wear your trousers a little bit longer, I know like I do, I can go for a full break. You don't see both of them. You just see that one right up here. Maybe you'll see the second one when you're walking. But for me, this is just something, it's just, I don't know, it looks better proportionally. Let's talk about fit and comfort. So, usually you have more room in here. Notice how we've got a bigger strap here versus the single monk, we go together like this. This just feels a little bit more restrictive. It's a small difference, but I do notice it. And for that reason, I think the double monk is what most men should go for. And gents, if you agree or disagree, I want to hear from you down in the comments. Now, for this next one, I'm going to assume that you own a pair of black Balmoral Oxfords. I've said it before. And yes, I think when you're starting off, every man should have a pair. But if you've already got a pair, do you need a second pair? Should you get some black bluchers? I don't think so. In fact, if all of your shoes are black, stop buying black and look at other colors. I'm not saying brown here. I'm saying oxblood. Why? Because it'll work pretty much in any situation that black shoes, it'll match all your suits and it will look so much better. All of a sudden, people are going to take notice of your shoes and start giving you compliments. Notice this pair right here. We've got a little bit of burnishing, just the way it's going and getting darker here at the edges. This is absolutely beautiful. You wear this with a suit, you're going to get compliments all day. Now, what if your Balmoral Oxfords are in dark brown? What are your options there? Well, how about you change up the style? Okay, Balmoral Oxford, a classic look with a closed lacing system. But right here, a pair of hole cuts. This is something, again, it's becoming a modern classic in the last 10 years. Hole cuts have become much more common. And I do think in a medium or dark brown, they look solid. Now, I get it. Hole cuts may not be your thing. You want to stick with the whole Balmoral Oxford style? Well, guys, consider going with a two-tone. A lot of people think two-tone shoes. They think high contrast. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Low contrast right here. We've got a medium brown with a dark brown. Again, I'm a brown shoe kind of guy. So, for me, these are just perfect. I can wear them with a full-on suit. I could wear this into a business interview. Again, it's not going to be over the top, not screaming for attention, but it is going to get you compliments. Next up, we've got the classic brown blucher, named after the Prussian general that figured out if my soldiers are wearing shoes, they can move a lot quicker from point A to point B. Point being is we've got that back part of the shoe thrown onto the front, the vamp right here, the quarter thrown onto that, an open lacing system. This open lacing system makes them less expensive to manufacture. That doesn't mean though that you can't have fun. So, a pair of bluchers right here, we've got that back thrown onto the front, but guess what? We've got a contrasting material. That suede doesn't that look good. Oh, and notice the broguing right here in those perforations right here in the leather. And I get it. Wingtip brogan like this may be a little bit too much. Too many perforations all over the place. A little bit too hard of a shine job. Then look at a simple medallion. That's whenever you've got a little bit of broguing right there on the tip of the toe. So, what video to watch next? Well, gents, if you're going to buy expensive shoes, you want to watch this video first. In this video, I give you exactly what you need to look for when you're going out there and spending hundreds of dollars on shoes so you don't buy, yeah, just buy, I don't want you buying crap. I want you to buy quality footwear that's going to last. In this video, I break out exactly how to do that.